Good morning everyone, this is Brian Weber and this is another small account challenge video. This is an update for this past trading week. And if you didn't see the market this week, holy crap with the volatility. I mean, we had some insane swings because of the Trump, uh, Trump tweets, mainly from the US and China trade talks that were going on, especially Wednesday through Friday. I mean, the, the S&P 500 e-minis had some crazy moves. I mean, on, on Friday alone, there was a 70 point range about. And I mean, if you're on the right side of the, the move, there was a lot of money to be made, but there's also, it was so volatile that, I mean, you could easily have gotten chopped up or wicked out with hitting your stops and stuff. But this week went really well for me. I, I only had one day where I made, I think I made 80 cents after commissions because the, like I was saying, the move was, the price action was so volatile that I would make money, lose money, and eventually I was just like, you know what, it, it's been 30, 40 minutes, and I decided to just call it a day, went to work, and you know, there's plenty of more opportunities, but I was like, today is just not the day, it's not working. But this week I did make $515, and I'll show you guys the screenshot of my, my account balance, and, I'm also gonna go into some of the trades that I took and show you some of the strategies that I was using to make money this week. So what I pretty much did was, after I hit my daily goal or exceeded it, a lot of days I made like a hundred, a little over a hundred bucks, like 150 bucks, that was pretty much the maximum I made. All within, I would say like 15 to 30 minutes of trading and I, I shut everything down after that. So I would hit my, I hit my $500 goal for this week and that was the that was what I talked about in last week's video and that was what I was aiming for this week and I hit that so I'm pretty stoked on that and going into the next week and the next three weeks I'm actually aiming to make $500 each week with a one lot and then if I can do that and I know I will I'll move on to two lots for the month of June so I didn't actually get a five point trade on ES, 10 point trade on ES and all the other stuff I was talking about on CL, like trying to make those big trades. And I realized like that's great if it happens, but the goal is to make money and more importantly manage the risk and that's what I did. I never lost more than $100 on a trade and some lost less than that because I didn't realize the trade wasn't working. But I'm really, really stoked on where this is going. Like I was saying in the first video or two, um, the first video, first week, I wasn't doing so well because I wasn't mentally there. And I actually did join, I did join a company called Trade Pro Academy. George, Victoria, and Mark, these guys are really great at trading futures, mainly CL and ES and YM. They even trade NQ, they pretty much trade any futures. And these guys are really good at managing risks and taking the good setups. And I only think that my skills are, have gotten better since I've joined them, mainly in my psychology and being able to manage risk, like not moving my stop, accepting the loss if I get stopped out, and you know, paying myself. If, I, if I'm up some money, take, take some off the table. I have to with one lot because you only have one contract. Once I move into two lots, it's gonna be a lot easier to get, pay myself a little bit and then keep a runner on to see if the move will continue in my favor. And I think that's when the real money will be start to be made in this small account. And I mean, you'll see in the, the journal that I have, I'm about to show you guys, is a, a couple trades that I was in that day that I was getting chopped up more or less where I made only 80 cents. I actually was up several points. I was up like 100, 200 bucks, maybe more on a couple trades, but it moved so damn fast that I I could not move my stop up fast enough manually to be able to lock in anything because the way I have my platform set up on Sierra charts, as soon as it hits about two points in my favor, my stop automatically gets moved to plus one tick. So I, I lock in my cost and the, the moves are so fast that I couldn't manually move it up more fast enough before it came back and took me out for like one or two ticks. And it was really frustrating that day. So really like got, I would have made probably like a thousand or more this week, but it's okay. Going into next week, I'll probably adjust and look to take, uh, take profit more when I'm up three, four points and not look to, you know, be greedy and get more out of that. Even though there are all these crazy moves where you can get 10, 20 points, but 
you can also it also can come back and take you out for a lot less so let's jump into my spreadsheet I'll show you guys the account balance where it's at and sh just review some of the trades I took this week so you can have an idea of like what I look for on this small account when I'm trading all right guys, so here's the equity curve right now on the small count. So I have marked here, this is when I joined Trade Pro Academy on the 29th. And you can see since then I've made 700 and about $768. And that's just uh, mainly being surrounded by, it's a change of my environment more or less. Being around people that are really good at what they do, but they are also managing their risk. That's the most important thing to emphasize. Emphasize, excuse me. And it's uh, it's really beneficial to be around that because previously when I used to trade, yeah, I, I have a really good strategy. I know how to trade, but being around people that average down on losing trades and just in general, that's the way they trade. You cannot do that with a small account and it's just not a good idea to do it in general because if you look at the market and if I show you some of the the moves that has ha have happened on uh, ES or whatever instrument I'm trading if you average down it's a really good way to blow out your account and a really I mean you it's a really good way to lose all your money in like five to ten minutes and <laughs> um, it's just uh, it's a terrible way to trade. Let's just put it that way. And I'm uh, I'm really focused on now. If the trade's working, let me add let me add to it on a dip. You know, if I'm long or short, it comes back up and it keeps going. You know, so that's the, really the difference. You know, it's just changing the way I think and the way I actually trade. You know, I already have a winning strategy. It's just managing the risk and my emotions, and I think that's going in the right direction. But um, so the count's up about 11.7%. It's not like, a, I mean, it sounds good, but it's not that great. I, it, it's going to keep going up. But um, the fact that it's up 350 bucks, I'm pretty stoked on that compared to where it was about two weeks ago. So you can see here, I even noted down here, this is when I started my scaling plan is blue here. So that means from a four weeks from this point, I have to trade one lot. I have to make so that the hundred dollars per day, five hundred dollars per week, two thousand dollars for that month for those four weeks. That's the goal on this. And then once I get past that, and you can move it up to two lots. But if you look at this curve, you can see that the trailing max, the max trailing drawdown is is finally going up, which is a positive sign. So that's actually at uh, where is it at now? 18.51. So can't go below that, otherwise I got to take a break. I think it's like a two-week or a four-week break. I'm not worried about it because I don't think at all it's going there. I have to lose quite a bit of trades in a row for it to hit that, and I don't think I'm going to lose 15 trades in a row. I mean, it's just not not my plan, not my strategy. But uh, here's the balance on on AMP. It's this top one right here. Uh, I actually have it blocked out, I believe, on my editing software, so you can't see the account number because my other account's in there too. But I think my account is a little bit off with the commissions, but $3,348.76, that's where the account's at. But uh, let's take a look at this month. The, the win-loss ratio is at 76.92%. This month's about, um, it might be a little off from what's actually in the AMP account, but almost $700 after commission so some of the good trades that i took let's see here ones that i've got like uh like maybe this one let's take a look at what i did on this trade yeah i think this is a seeing like the the volume decrease on the short right here is when i went long you can actually see it oh crap you can see it right here on these two candles after we had a little bounce there the volume is actually decreasing right here let me see if I can get my little draw yeah so after we had this little this buying come in right here 
what I was looking for was, okay, I'll get long on the retest as long as the volume's decreasing. And you can see that the volume's decreasing. So pretty much got long here with a stop below that low and got about three points on that. And that was a pretty good trade because you can see the volume that came in on this candle. Those are the type of trades that I look for. And this is on the five minute chart, but I usually trade the tick chart because you're just looking for, what I look for on these trades is more or less structure. Let me see if this one has it. Seeing structure build up, yeah. So went long there too at the 60s. I think this was like a pre uh, aftermarket trade. But what I look for is, let me get my little draw tool again. See these pre like these previous lows have all hit there, so that's a strong support area. So I mean, you, it's a high probability trade that you can get you can get in this area with a tight stop below there. And I mean, it's in a downtrend, but you could get in 66, you can get three points, and that's what it did. Like back to the previous pivot where it broke down, and you can just see their structure that's formed here. I mean, pretty much this this high right here to this low here. That's a range right now. And I look for stuff like that. If it breaks this level, okay, it's a short. You could probably get it on this retest, but I wasn't able to get that. But what's the next trade that I could find? It was this long down here, 66. And it had a nice bounce to retest the previous uh, structure that broke down. So those are the type of trades that I look for. And I match it up with the uh, volume. You know, make sure that the volume is decreasing on when we're sh when they're short maybe it's increasing on the long side so I can get in there typically it's a nice responsive buy area there's usually some you'll see this run up really quick that it's buy stops run so it gets people out of their shorts and then it resets and goes lower I believe that level broke not too long after so it was a quick in and out trade but um, most of my trades are actually bullish which is kind of funny I actually had, yeah, because I, I, my bias is mainly bullish, but I did miss a couple shorts. Didn't get filled, actually, on a really nice short. Um, I believe it was on it was on Friday. Right when, uh, I, if you look at the chart, we actually ran up on Friday, and it kind of rolled over, something like this. They pushed it up right to like the overnight high and then it, it looked up a little above, came down, made a lower high, then it dumped through the overnight low. And that's when we had that big sell off down into the mid 20s, mid 2820s. Just missed it, but it's okay. Um, I'm stoked for next week. I'm stoked to hit my goals. And I will, I'm really trying to remember to record video of me actually trading with my with a live like the live trading itself you know so you guys can see like the active PL and stuff like that to see exactly what I'm doing so I'm gonna try to set reminders to do that this week I uh, look forward to sharing another update with you guys have a great weekend I think I'm about to make another video on the e micro e micro contracts for the ES uh, it's pretty cool. I'm going to make another video on that, tell, talk to you guys about it. It's about one-tenth the size of a normal E-mini, so it's pretty cool if you don't have a lot of money to trade but want to get your skin in the game and experience what it's like to trade real money with pretty much almost no risk. You know, $5 a point is really nothing. But um, I will talk to you guys soon in another video update on the Small Account Challenge next week. If you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel for the updates, just go ahead and click my logo that's popping up now. And I will talk to you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.